toss up. Well, it's looking like they uh, they opted for final destination. Sounds pretty even. Sounds pretty even. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they can do. Three, two, one, go! Lose the semis. Here we go. Of course, this is uh, all still best of five. So it leaves a lot of room for uh, for development. Oh man, that that item throw speed from Peach is not too fast, man. Those uh. Turnips. Yeah, it's it's uh, quite a slow projectile. Yeah, it's not uh, not the best, but Meiru seems uh, intent on making uh, use of it here in the Bayonetta matchup. Maybe he doesn't feel like running after Butter and hopelessly trying to box him out. Oh boy. So that's why you can, I guess, pull out the turn and play, keep him at a distance, wait for your opportunity to strike. Instead, they are brawling. I think Minu is a bit yeah. dull with the turn play, man. He's just all about just trying to kick ass right now. All about getting all up in Butter's face. Oh, the, the shot mix-up. There we go. Aggressive enter to the stage. And the back air. Such a great walling tool and it kills. Misses the Nair, so Mio's gonna be retaining that stock, especially after he decks another one. And another one. Yeah, Upsum is not finding its mark, and that's why I think it's not broken. It is pretty hard to hit, despite all his power. This ain't this ain't Mario's head swing, you know, no, where no, he goes no, no, from no. all the way to the side, from all the way to the other side. Okay, big combos by Butter doing a, a whopping 38%. Turnips are back out. So now might not be the best time. Now you need that kill. And even though it's very minor, if you're gonna play the turnip game, you're gonna be taking residual damage from the the bullet odds. Yeah, it just uh, even though these aren't full combos from from Bayonetta, every hit hurts. It's just one special, one aerial, and uh, that's another 50%. Father trying to go for that uh, sweet, sweet off stage. Yeah, and the up air to finish it out. Uh, that's a classic high percent uh, confirm for Bayonetta. Yeah, the the, the afterburner kick, you know. Yeah, if you die the up after the first afterburner kick, you're gonna get a second, which confirms into an up air. Gratis. Uh, that it, it does. And of course, just the singular afterburner kick at that percent is a pretty good confirm as well, because uh, it's not quite as uh, effective to SDI a single hit move. Yeah. Than the witch yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, overall, you can't, uh, you can't think I'm out of Witch Twist percent, I'm out of Kill percent, uh, kill Confirm percent. It just doesn't work like that. Okay, we've got a lot more tricks. Made to stick with the Zelda despite the two stock. You mean with the Peach? Yeah, the, um, I'm thinking Zelda, I'm thinking Zelda. Th that's uh, wishful thinking. That's wishful thinking indeed. Okay, the music pick, important. Time to fight, and you will know our names. It, it doesn't matter to him which one gets picked. I do like mechanical rhythm, though. Well, that's not going to be play. It's time to fight, and time to fight it is. Now, this this is a very rare music pick. Usually, they uh, opt for something like you will know our names. Time to fight. You don't hear it that often, but Miru opting for it right here. As we uh, make our way to Gower Plain Omega. Yeah, hopefully it can give him the strength uh, to make this a close set. Well, right now, it's not looking too good, man. It's not looking too good. But uh, there's combo after combo. Yeah, can't be out here punishing those after burning kicks. If you get overzealous, you'll find a back air coming your way. Okay, turn to play. Trading a bit with the after burning kick. I guess that's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Turn a bit to dash attack. Unfortunately, he falls out of the second hit. No. Very, very no problem with Peach's dash attack. Okay, Peach trying to land. Works out though. It's uh, the trade you don't want to make, man. It's the trade you don't want to make. Oh, oh and though is. Miru has been uh, SDIing these uh, combos fantastically, he just gets caught 
by that uh, remaining jump into up air from, from Yeah, Potter. that's good. That death was super necessary as he drifted back towards the stage yeah. rather than away towards the ledge, which is where he needs to go. Exactly. He still needs to be on the lookout even if a, a combo looks Woo! to end from Bayo. And there, Meru spacing the dash attack so only the second hit will connect, launching Potter off the top. Okay, nice double combo. Now it's a real classic down throw to back air. Oh, there it is, the witch time. What is he gonna do? He is gonna go for the witch twist. And even though he does not get the kill, notice how again he only got one of the multi hits to yeah. send Peach upwards. But this one, uh, the way he did this one, this one is a, a bit simpler to do. It's uh, whenever you're in witch time and get that uh, first witch twist, you can, uh, when you jump cancel it, it, it forces you to pop above Peach firstly, and then the second one is easier to, to get the same way as well. Yeah, because the second one, he did get out of witch time. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Should that be kill? Yes, it is. Yeah. And Another game by Butter. 2-0 oh 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 on the scoreboard. Real Shota's Butter. And I still don't know if that's a real thing somewhere of it or if it's just a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke, right? It's a joke. But I still don't get how... I don't even know what it means. I'm not <laughs> from the street. <laughs> You're definitely, definitely not from the street. You're not you. from the street either, my man. Don't sit here like well, you're one of the cool uh, boys. Uh, I'm gonna tell you something about my background, but that's off stream. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, okay. All right, back to Gower Plane on uh, the Omega version, of course. Yeah, and uh, no Zelda coming out. Mary sticking to the, the Peach, despite claiming his Zelda is now better than the Peach. <laughs> Which was pretty funny to read. Those are all just Twitter jokes, probably, though. So he is here and he's here to win. Focusing heavily on patient turnip play. But like I said before, it's so easy to shield those turnips. And all the time, while you're doing your little plucking, you're taking residual damage from the bullet dodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's showing right here, 46. Miru tries to get something started, but actually just dashes away in uh, anticipation of what Butter would do. Oh, there it is. Hit by the turnip. Nothing major, but it looked cool. Oh, excellent wait on the witch time. As uh, the last couple of games, he's been getting caught with witch time quite a couple of, quite a couple of times, actually. Gotcha. But within out the rainbow. And Butter's flying around with his afterburner kick. So. Whoa. Whoa! What? Don't <laughs> fly in my airspace. That, that was a read from the next universe, man. <laughs> <laughs> from the next dimension. All right. Down air strong, but not that strong. Oh, there it is, there it is. Yeah, and that's a bad time for Peach. Yeah, expecting the aggressive landing after the air dodge because Peach is one of those floaty characters that can short off air dodge and then still land with an aerial. Mm -hmm. That's a good play by Potter. As he uh, wrecks up a cent on Meru, 28 already. And he's not looking to stop, but Meru gets the grab. Down throw into f tilt, 15%. Let's see how far he can go. Okay. Oh boy, this might spell doom, but not picking the right option for that situation. Another chance to get the combo. Oh, oh, holy moly. A witch stamp on the beach bomber. Yeah, almost as seeing himself. And on the parasol. And on the parasol. But, but you got no time left. You're out of time. Oh, that's a kill. That's a kill. The eyeing straight into the blast yeah. zone. Miru reels back, and that's a quick 3-0 for Butter. And I do, in a sense, feel for Miru because 